So we want to show how to add a barcode to an existing inventory item. So here we have two mini setup. Uh, whenever we're working with uh, inventory items, uh, we want to make sure that we're using either an admin code or a manager's code to access so that we have access to the inventory program. So in this case, I'm going to type in admin code. And you can see here the inventory icon. Uh, the app is right up front. So in this case, I'm going to choose inventory. And we're going to choose one of these existing items to add a barcode so that when we scan the barcode, we can automatically add the item. So in this case, we're going to add it to KISS shirts. So when I click on this, you can see here under SKU, I don't know if it's easy enough to see in the camera, but under the SKU field, so I've clicked on the field, and my cursor is flashing, and here I can type in a barcode, or I can also scan it. Now, if you have a handheld scanner already set up uh, with your devices, or you're using a Clover Flex, you can then use that scanner to scan uh, at this point. In this case, we're going to use the camera on the Mini itself to scan. And to do that, I'm going to choose the little barcode icon, which is in the bottom left-hand side in the black bar. And when I do that, you can see a camera pops up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the barcode of the item. And there you can see the barcode has now been added. Next, I just want to make sure I save that. And if I open up that item again, you can see the barcode is there. Okay. Now I want to go to register and I'm going to start a sale. But here, instead of finding the item on the list, I'm going to choose scan barcode. And again, I'm going to hold up the barcode. And now I've automatically added that. And again, if you have the handheld scanner, you can use that. Uh, now I can go ahead and pay. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose cash. We're using the cash discount program. And you can see over here, I also have the tip function set up just as a demonstration. And then the customer would proceed with the sale. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to just cash out. Pay cash in this case. And print the receipt. And there you will see the transaction has gone through. And that's how you add a barcode to an existing inventory item.